Well, it's always a curse in the lab. I go from no projects to multiple projects at the same time. This one I'm actually really excited about. Let's do a bit of unboxing here together. And we'll dive further into what it is. What a strange box. Let me pull out this and this. Let's see what all we've got in here. It's going to be quite a bit of stuff. Hold on to that box. This is order number one from Mouser. I've got multiple Mouser orders coming, multiple DigiKey orders coming, uh, and eBay purchases for stuff that I couldn't get anyplace else, plus stuff in my own stock. There's a lot going on here. This will be a pretty big build. Well, the first thing we have is key switches. Looks like I have an entire tray here. Two, four, five. Well, not a horrible feeling key switch. So probably a hint here there's going to be a keyboard. Some resistors. I'm not sure why I ordered resistors. Resistor network I didn't have. Components here for a space bar. I thought I removed all these one-offs, but I guess I didn't. bomb was fairly big and there was inventory issues on both Mouser and uh, DigiKey and that's why I ended up kind of ping-ponging back and forth. That's just two little capacitors. Why would I have left those in when I have those? Well, I definitely had some stuff sneak through I didn't plan to order, but that's okay. The big thing here really was the uh, key switches, uh, 74 LS145 that I didn't seem to have in my stock, another LED, and I think this is a push on, push off perhaps, three push button switches, or this may have been a, a, a different switch pressure, I don't remember. But that's really box one, that came this morning. Second box I'm looking very forward to getting into. Oh, it's a big one. Packaging. Two heavy sets of PCBs. So I've had all my PCB uh, work done on Mouser, or I don't PCB way. I've been really happy with them, and I continue to be really happy with them. These are for the Omega MSX compatible computer. I saw it online and went, you know what? I'm going to have to build me one of these. Uh, it just looked really cool. Keyboard version 1 and a main board version 1. So let's see if I can get these open without scratching the PCBs. So it feels like inevitably I end up scratching the PCB. I'm trying to get into these. take a closer look. Now because the minimum order on PCB Way is five boards, I have five of each board. Uh, try not to 
touch the board here as I work my way down. Never done the blue uh, solder mask before. I really like what I'm seeing here. That's a nice looking board. I ordered these literally late last week. I want to say Thursday, maybe Wednesday. It is Tuesday of the next week and I have boards in hand ordered, manufactured, and delivered from China. Uh, they cost me about $40, about $20 a board. Uh, I will let the other boards go, potentially on eBay. If you see this video and you're in the U.S. and you'd like a set of boards, contact me. Uh, we can see what we can do. Like I said, it's about $40 a set of boards. That included shipping. Uh, not a bad looking board. I had a fair amount of the parts in my stock, like the, the VDP chip here. I had two of these already in my stock, the 82C55. I ordered Z80, but I think I have ones that would have worked. I wasn't sure. Uh, I pretty much, minus resistors, ordered almost everything on the board minus the ICs I had. I've got 4164s coming from China. Ordered 10. Hopefully they'll be real. I've got a couple here in my stock that are obviously remarked. I don't trust them. There's a uh, color generator chip on here someplace. I think it's right here that I didn't have that's again coming from China. Uh, tried to do US suppliers when I can, but it's just like it almost always ends up, I end up in China. so. Happy with that board. Let's see if we can get this one open. Boy, the dogs are having a good time down there. I don't know what they're barking at. enough to get around the seal. Doesn't look like it. Again, I don't want to scratch the board. I've ended up scratching the silk screen on a couple of boards trying to get them out of this packaging. Which just irritates me. You know, they're not super expensive, but I want the silk screen nice and clean. Especially if I'm going to you know, make boards available to others. Boy, is she excited down there. Again, I'm trying to keep from touching the board. Keyboard boards. It should come loose. Oh, it's caught in that notch right there. So the keyboard board's designed to mount above the CPU board, and I've seen some photos online of people doing uh, cases for them. You know, clear acrylic cases. Uh, the board designs came off the GitHub for the Omega computer. It's all open source. I figure out what's going on down there. That was the FedEx truck squeaking. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go a bit deeper here in this first video since we can. Oh, that's an excited dog down there. And see about setting a few of these in place. Oh. Ah, it just takes a little bit of pressure. 
to get the three plastic pins to sit down in. Not a problem. Super excited. This is really going to be a cool build. Uh, I've got keycaps on order. There was a link uh, on the GitHub. I've ordered a set of black and a set of white keys, and I'll probably do alpha. And the main keyboard is white, and the surround stuff is black. I'm undecided. We'll see what it looks like. But I went ahead and got a set of black and a set of white. Pretty cool. I've never used an MSX compatible computer. I've always been curious about them. Wow, that's an excited dog down there. That might have a bit of a bent pin, it does. I suspect the crow is back. We have a crow that likes to come visit. Really pretty cool. Uh, it's interesting that the bomb for these were all HS or HCT parts that I don't normally have, and I ordered HCT, C, HCT parts, and now I'm seeing the markings on here are 74 LS, which I do have, so I may have ordered Jelly Bean Logic stuff that I didn't actually need. Now he's got, okay, the stuff on this board's all labeled HCT. So I guess I'm glad I ordered that stuff. You know, there's an LS07, there's a few LS parts here. But most of it is HCT, that's high speed CMOS uh, logic. Wow, they are just going to keep barking and keep barking. Actually, something I wanted to look at. While we're here, as I plucked this battery holder, hoping it would fit, and it does. So that's a pull battery holder. Uh, there was no stock any place I looked for the battery holder, and so I held on to this thinking this might actually fit, and it does. So that's for the real time clock backup, just a standard CR2032. Nice. Happy with that? That'll get captured into the box of fun stuff. Well, I will wrap this up here. There's kind of our introduction. First look at a few of the parts. Like I say, I've got parts coming in from Mouser and DigiKey and eBay and Amazon actually for the keycaps. So there's quite a lot that'll go on here. This board's designed to kind of mount up above this board. It'll be interesting. Uh, there's a few mounting holes here. See, it looks like this board actually goes this orientation. Okay, I see the mounting holes here and here. Some, some standoffs. Uh, I believe this was all designed by Sergey. I can't say his name. Hopefully that's correct. Yeah. Sergey Kisilev. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. He does a lot of this kind of stuff and he's very good at it. I've been building stuff he designed since probably a decade ago with the N8VEM stuff that uh, from back in the day. See, joysticks are up front. That's why those DB9 connectors are going to be up here. So are we? No, oh, just a piece of something sticky on the board. I'd like the board to stay nice and clean. Power in, 5 volt only. Video connector, audio connector. Oh, there's an S video connector. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what this connector here is for. Oh, RGB video out. Really nice, gorgeous board. Nice layout. Very happy with what I'm seeing. I'd say $40. 
with delivery for a set of these boards. At least what, what they cost me, it was about $180 or $190 total for, for five of each board with delivery. Is not bad. Like like already comment, I like the blue silk or the blue solder mask and the white silk screen. It, it jumps out very nice. So I said it's open source hardware. Looking forward to uh, getting this built. So uh, we'll start assembling in a future video. Talk to you soon.